People have been on my case to make more videos. So here's a quick one about a uh, project I'm working on on my tractor. It's a Kubota L3301 HST with loader and a backhoe that's not mounted right now. The factory headlights aren't, aren't much good for anything but lighting up the back side of the bucket if you have a loader on it. So a common upgrade that people make is to add high mounted lighting, such as these lights I'm putting underneath the uh, uh, the canopy there. The factory uh, light option there isn't very good. They're, they're incandescent lights and we demand better today. Let me try to get you out of the sun. So here's what I'm doing. I have some one and a half inch aluminum T-slot extrusion, commonly called 8020 extrusion that I got from McMaster Car, mounted up under the canopy. These are just the, uh, the straight mounting straps for it. I enlarged these holes to 3 8 inch and put in bigger bolts to hang it under here. Uh, this is a truck side mirror from McMaster Car, mounted on the larger L brackets that are made for the 8020 extrusion. And uh, these are some inexpensive LED lights from uh, Amazon. I 3D printed a, uh, uh, an enclosure to mount some Carling W-Series uh, sealed rocker switches. I picked these over the Contura switches that are more commonly used because they have connectors uh, that seal each individual wire and I wanted to keep everything nice and waterproof. So there's a factory uh, work light circuit under the right rear, uh, yeah, left rear bumper. The connector originally looked like uh, this, but I cut that off and uh, put on a better connector right here. It's a 10 amp fuse circuit with the fuse in the fuse box. So I just run power up the inside of the rollover bar. I don't ever uh, fold my rollover bar, so I didn't bother making enough slack here. It just goes up along this rail and over to the switch. Then the back side, I have another uh, piece of 8020 extrusion. This one's mounted with uh, the smaller L brackets for it. And I replaced these bolts with uh, longer ones and enlarged the holes to 3 8 inch there. And then I hang two more lights off the back side. I'm still dressing the wires and I have to lock tight a bunch of bolts. So I'm not quite done yet. Uh, but in my first little test, it seemed to work a whole lot better than the, uh, than the uh, f uh, factory headlights. So that's it. Also, my dog really wanted to come to work with me today, but she's gonna have to stay home. Sorry about that, Annis. See you later.